<laughs> well, we could be close to hearing a verdict from the jury in the Warren Jeffs trial. The jury was supposed to wrap up about an hour ago, but they're still deliberating tonight. Our Mike Watkins has been following the trial in St. George, Utah, and joins us live with the very latest. Mike. Yeah, so many developments today, Patty, on pins and needles here in St. George, Utah. That jury continuing their deliberation. We're supposed to knock off at 5 o'clock, but they're now behind locked doors here in the 5th District Court, still conducting their deliberations. Late this afternoon, they sent a message to the judge, said that they were deadlocked on one of the two counts. There's two counts. Many people think that the first count is easier to find Mr. Ge uh, Jeffs guilty. Second one, perhaps more difficult for the jury to grapple with. We don't know if that's the case at all. Keeping it very close to the chest, the judge said go back and continue to work on that second count. That's where we stand at this point. As we're standing around here, it's given us an opportunity to do a little fact checking, trying to keep them honest. Throughout much of this trial, Mr. Jeff's attorneys, as they often do in these kind of cases, tried to muddy up the character of the young woman bringing the allegations. There was some testimony that during the relationship, Jane Doe, number four, the young woman we now know as Elisa Wall, became pregnant. She lost that pregnancy to a miscarriage, but she went to a medical professional during this time, and that medical professional filled out a medical report basically saying that drugs and alcohol were not part of this pregnancy. The uh, alcohol and tobacco were not part of this pregnancy. But Mr. Jeff's lawyers then turned around, shoved this same medical report to say, look, this teenage girl during this pregnancy was using drugs and alcohol. This is the closing statements of Chief Defender Wally Bugden telling jurors to look about on this medical form about the drug and alcohol issue. Then over here, we have some interesting boxes that tell us something about Elisa Wall. Something that might be a little bit different from the Elisa Wall that sat right here. The victim, the Elisa Wall. Here, what is checked off? Drinks alcohol, does drugs, substance use, smokes, smoking. Topics for discussion. Clearly, the defense trying to say that she's a bad young girl using drugs and alcohol. In essence, that report said just the opposite. The state was able to tell jurors they needed to look at this carefully, saying that she was not using any of those substances. We asked Mr. Bugden on his way into court today in a rather testy exchange, did he intentionally mislead the jury? Bugden, why did you introduce the, the alleged drug use part? Did you know that wasn't true, or did you not care? It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Yeah. Um, is, is that sort of raping the rape victim on the witness stand? That's the way it's done, right? You can put your spin on it, Mr. Watkins. It was. I made a mistake. I made an honest mistake reading the record. Honest mistake or an attempt to basically rape the alleged rape victim once again in this court of law and assassinate her character. A lot of people think that Mr. Jeff's lawyers have done just that. Bottom line, jury continues to deliberate. They're behind closed doors, Patty. They apparently have made some decision on the first count, deadlocked on the second count. We will certainly bring you the verdict as soon as it comes to us. Wow, I made a mistake. All right, thanks very much, Mike.